I'm here today to talk to you about an age-old question, do I have flat feet? Many of my patients come to me and wonder this or tell me they have flat feet. Now, if you're sitting down and you can see an arch on your foot, you might think, I, I don't have flat feet. However, it's a little bit more complicated than that. It's the difference between when you're sitting and standing that really makes it if it's a flat foot that gives you problems or if it's a flat foot that's not giving you problems. So if your foot is flat at all times, for example, if you're walking down a beach and you just do not see an arch uh, on your footprint, then you have what we call a non-flexible flat foot. Sometimes that's also a flexible flat foot too that can give you that, but it's a completely flat foot. Um, and if you're sitting down and you have an arch and then it flattens out when you're standing up, this would be a root cause of many foot issues that we see in the office on a regular basis. We have a nice arched foot here. To show this arch more clearly, I'm going to draw um, with a marker or here in this case, a lipstick, which goes on a lot easier on the skin. Um, and when our foot model here stands normally, you see the nice arch that's right there. But when she puts more pressure, See how the arch flattens out? You see a, nice, a straight line. That's how much the arch flattens out. Again, let's see this. When it's like this, I can actually put um, my fingers, two fingers width, and that's how nice the arch is. But when we stand and put pressure on it, it gets flat. And when it gets flat, also all these tendons, tendons are on stretch. The knee uh, also is on stretch. Uh, many of the soft tissues and joints here are on stretch, and that's why there's many issues that are caused by this flexible flat-footedness. Let's see what the heels look like on a flat foot. When the foot is not flat, there's a nice arch. This is nice and perpendicular to the ground, but when a f and same on this heel. But when a flat and the foot flattens out under pressure, it buckles, and then you can see how this line tilts in, and this is commonly happens. And the wear pattern on the shoe also shows that this is how your heels flat heels uh, tilt when you flatten out, and that leads to many heel issues as well. Um, it's hard for you to check it out yourself um, easily for somebody else that's watching you, or if you look at yourself in a mirror, it might be a lot easier to see how this arch flattens out. Um, and if you have a high arch that does not flatten out, you might not have most of the foot issues. Uh, but also, if you have too high of an arch. There are also issues. We also would like to recommend a certain type of shoes depending on which type of foot you have. Uh, for example, if you have really flat feet, we say a pronation control shoe would be very helpful for you, which a lot of times running shoes are synonymous to pronation control shoes. Um, a regular tennis shoe or a neutral shoe would be best if you have a high arch. I hope this is helpful for you. Thank you for watching.